Welcome to the channel, it's me Chris Brooks. Here's a little pamphlet which is going to be distributed around Thetford in relation to the climate crisis that Thetford Town Council have announced. So let's have a look, shall we? Thetford Crisis Pamphlet. Thetford Town Council meeting Carnegie Rooms at 6.45pm on Tuesday the 30th of April 2024. Your town needs you. Stop Terry Jeremy and the Labour Party. Stop their climate and ecological emergency scam. Stop their £20,000 spend of our tax money on this scam. Stop their backdoor 20-minute neighbourhood plan. Stop their implementation of Agenda 30 WEF policies. Labour were elected with only 18% out of a total of 24% turnout. They do not have the full consent of the people of Thetford. They shut council meetings down. What do they have to hide? Our town needs you to stand up again for both our own and our children's future. So that's the front page and then it goes on to, just bear with me. The Labour contingent on the town council have proposed and forced through this ridiculous idea. They did not say exactly where the crisis was or where they were getting their information from. They did not inform us where the boundaries around the town for this crisis were located. They did not say how it affects or how they will de-conflict with neighbouring towns and villages. They stated that they will now seek funding for their idea, but from who and where will they get it? The Government, Norfolk County Council and Brooklyn District Council have no money to give. Labour have already moved £20,000 of funds away from the Guildhall budget to fund their plan. Non-government agencies like UK100 and Friends of the Earth can now give direction and money. These private agencies and unelected bodies who are now controlling our town council. This is undermining local democracy and accountability as it gives global corporations the power what the Town Council should be seeking funding for. Walkways over, with overgrown weeds and streets full of litter and rubbish that need to be cleaned. We have large potholes in our roads that are becoming bigger and more of a hazard every day. We need more and well-placed pedestrian crossings within our town to ensure better safety. More police patrols are needed in order to stop the anti-social behaviour in the town centre. More police patrols are needed to stop the recent drug running and stabbings within our town. An action plan to stop the loss of our town's allotments and the destruction of the Abbey Estate. How Labour on the Town Council can represent all of the people. Acknowledge that nearly 82% of the people of Thetford did not vote for their global WEF plans. They agree that they have not been given a mandate to act for everyone within our town. Agree that 15 minutes allocated for public questions at the council meetings is not long enough. They must make it a priority to listen to and have more of a dialogue with residents at meetings. The councillors need to acknowledge that they are there to serve, we the people, not themselves. The people of Thetford can make a difference. The last time we all came together, the council was set up and took notice. We stopped the 20 minute neighbourhoods plan, but it will still be reintroduced. This climate emergency is a scam and it will restrict our movements, your movements. This climate emergency is a scam and it will take away your rights. This climate emergency is a scam and it will cost you money. Together we can stop this scam and make our own town a better place. Please turn up to the Thetford Town Council meeting and have your say. So I just thought I would share that. That was sent to me uh, and I thought I would air it. For those people in Thetford who I know watch this channel, I've had a couple of uh, subscribers reach out and talk to me in the street and in the shops. But hello to you guys and girls. Nice to meet you and nice to know that I'm reaching your screens. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, until next time, I will speak to you again soon. Bye for now.